So Ben and I are taking a quick break on the storyboard, okay? And Ben talked about my album intro. What did you like about that album intro? Or what did you get out of it? I basically got out of it what you've already been telling me, uh, how you wanted to make an album where it's entirely your creation and not just samples from other musicians. And I really wanted to hear that because it's like, on one hand, it would have been one thing to hear another musician uh, do samples and whatnot, but it's quite another to create something entirely from scratch. And the fact that you're doing it, it's, it got me kind of pumped to see uh, what it's gonna be like. And from what I've been hearing so far, I'm kind of pumped. Yeah? Yeah. Give me a second here. I wonder how I can get to playlist. Ah, perfect. Speaking of album, I released my first album yesterday. Oh, so that's what it was? Yep. Yo. And guess what? There's 10 sounds on it. Nice. And it's all original. So nice. we are listening to this thing yeah. right now, okay? Nice. And by the way, I did this all from scratch. Those kind of giving slight good time vibes with it's like percussion and stuff. Yep. <laughs> I really like the organ. Man, I love the organ here. But listen to where it goes to. Alright. All right. Adding more bass. Yep. Right. But. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right over here. Nice. Don't worry about it. Man. I love the choir here, man. Okay. It's almost kind of like combining the two previous sounds into one, especially with yep. like how the percussion is in. That was and kind then, of the idea. Yeah. How grimy it feels. I know. <laughs> what inspired this sound was like nerves. Yeah. No nerves. Yeah. Before especially, the fight. Yeah, especially like yeah, before the fight. Yeah. It's like it's like you're walking up ready for a fight and it's like yeah. you're just pacing back and forth. Yeah. And the that one uh, I don't know what kind of percussion it is, but it's like the, I wouldn't say gong, but it's like, Phew. it's like, here's the opponent about to come up. Yeah, precisely. But see what I do with this in the sounds. Now I change them. Now 
I started to notice an additional sound. Now I'm recognizing the horn. Yeah. I also noticed some of the the drone sound while it's in. I also love how disorienting it feels. Yeah, where there's no like crystal cut zone of it. Because like you said, it gives like an anxious feel to it. Yeah. And it's you probably haven't noticed an 808 in that too. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yep, I've got like an 808 doing something through that. Oh nice. And now we got what kind of sounds like a violin. Yep. In fact that's actually the highest tone. I have in my choir. Wow. It sounds violin. Wait, that's a... Wait a minute, that's a choir? That's violin now. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, wait, what? Yeah. Slightly freeform jazz kind of feel with the horns. Yep. Nice. Got a few horns. There we go. Yeah. Let's see what I do here. Hear <laughs> that? Yeah, now the synths are like <laughs> crunching into each other. It's like. You're being sprayed with sin. Yep. That's like a basic kind of like 808 type thing, but oh. it's kind of like what you would hear in a rack thing. Oh. So, yeah, I never noticed that because it sounds almost like a thickened... I did that on purpose. I added some stuff to it. Nice. You're my favorite, man. Dead piano. Yep. But they're ever so slightly in tune. They are all in tune. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Instead of like letting the piano hammers hit the strings, it's like you're clanking the strings. It's like, yeah.
Percussive sound, and then like just crush yeah. multiple of them in the rhythm that makes it sound like rattling. I love doing that. The guitar in the background. Yeah, I didn't expect the guitar to work. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this one I wanted simple, but kind of a rhythm, you know. Right, right. A nice thing. Now I see you sitting in the chair. Now you don't have no, you don't have no. 
that's my first album. Wow, that is actually sick. I and I, I knew that there was going to be some experimentation, but there were some sounds that I didn't expect you to go with, especially yeah, with, like, man. I mean, I knew you were going to have some like eight oh eights. I just didn't know like where they were coming at and the yeah. way that you either like compressed them or distorted them or like kind of like made them light but still distinctive or yeah. whatever. It's like you knew how to make it uh, fit in with the aesthetic of each of these tracks. Yeah. And a lot of it had this like weird claustrophobic, but at the same time, almost freeing feeling of like letting go of that catastrophic feeling that you had in your head, have in your head, or at the, the very least kind of like facing up that moment. Because like you said, <sighs> a lot of it almost kind of feels like you're about to face a fight. And a lot yeah. of it is uh, fearful at points, but a lot of it is like freeing once it comes out, especially mm -hmm. like once you get in. like a lot mm -hmm. of the songs kind of feel like that they're like in the moment of like getting ready for combat mm -hmm. or like you're uh, in combat yeah. or it's like you're just recovering from it. Yeah. And a lot of it is fittingly chaotic. Yeah. yeah especially, yeah. And I especially love how you use the horns and like I said, the, uh, 808s and the yeah. uh, the percussions in almost slightly free form jazz way, yeah. but still kept them in almost like a consistent rhythm each yeah. time. So it kind of has that same distinctiveness, but still dizzying array. Very open, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opening uh, an opening disarray. Mm. Yeah. The thing I love about this album, man. Man, yeah. is that it invokes so much emotion. It does. Especially mm -hmm. with, like... And it's like you don't even know what to feel. And that's actually the best part about that kind of music, is that you don't necessarily know what to feel. But I... I, I, I gotta ask you... The... I want to kind of hear, okay, what you I gotta say about the last one, the instrumental. Yeah, it's almost like you... To me, it always kind of felt like a triumphant moment. Man, that was what I was trying to get! And yeah. that's what I was trying to portray! Nice. <laughs> Especially with, like, you, like, just got out of a scuffle. And with the horns kind of almost, like, having major chords, uh -huh. it kind of had that triumphant feel. Whereas the majority of it almost had, like, minor chords. And it almost kind of, like, uh, enacted... Uh, feelings of fear and uh anxiety mm. whereas the very last track it kind of invoked a almost the an accomplished emotion or like a happy emotion yeah. and to me i always look at like major chords as happy chords yeah. and minor as like sad chords yeah, yeah. so with that it's like because i recognize that uh major chord sound yeah. in the final track it's like okay clearly i know that he's going for like a happy feel to it but then when you put in like the the percussions that almost kind of sound like bass percussion yeah, yeah, yeah. in it and just like the pom 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 that made me feel like i was walking away from a fight yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and i and i definitely feel like it was exactly what it was trying to deliver no everything here tried everything what you said about like like you know like, i think you know i definitely like, kind of Bjorn's fight for revenge, you know what I mean? That, I think, kind of gives out the sound, but, like, how you said it, like, kind of walking up to the fight, like, you did, like, literally got every sound, basically, in a way that I was trying to portray. Nice. <laughs> in some ways, like, the triumph, that was, I was trying to get that. Yeah, Big yeah, yeah. time, man. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was the lyrics, but the lyrics, I think, helped out a lot. Man. Yeah, I, I think the title of the tracks definitely helped out. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. The title was... Yeah, and I think the only yeah the only track was the second to last track where there was like voice samples of I think of you and this other person was there another person that did the voice samples No, it was just me. I did just did my voice. Oh my gosh, a lot of it was more like you finding uh, like you kind of like being self encouraging, but it also kind of did it in a way where it's like very dizzying and almost kind of like. <laughs> all chaotic at times yeah, yeah, which yeah, yeah, yeah. i really loved and it kind of goes to the theme of like being fearful and mm -hmm. uh, weary of the fight that's going on or, mm -hmm. or something and but I, I just love it how about yeah. the beginning sound 
The beginning sound of organ and and I will say it was the perfect intro song. song oh my god! For, for this kind of album, because it know, lets you I know did. ever so slightly what you're about to get yourself into, mm-hmm. and it's like mm-hmm. you're about to. It definitely feels like you're about to walk up to something, and not knowing what to expect, yeah. and that's what the first track and so it begins. Yep. was like. Yep, and then it kind of went along the line. And so it begins, the end of fighters, I'm here to fight, battle on, I've met my fate, I am my fate, yeah. every dog has its day, fighting a cheater, yeah. I'm winning this, my first single ever, and I'm winning this instrumental. Yeah, <laughs> nice. And if anything, it's almost like you're fighting this battle of like, knowing, it's, I mean, to me, it's like, what I interpret it as, like, sonically speaking, it's almost like, you're fighting and winning this battle of figuring out what your sound was. Mm. And it definitely, in the end, obviously, you had figured out what your sound mm. was, which is a very esoteric kind of sound. If anything, I'd say it's more like a a modern-day version of many jazz artists who may have, set, have unconventional sounds at first, but once you start looking back at it, it mm. has some structure to it and something that you can dissect a part of yeah. like a good example of it would have to be uh captain beefheart and mm. the album trout mask replica and the album was very like jazz oriented but it also had like a lot of rock and blues stuff yeah 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 what you did it was it was almost kind of like that but was but with just the sounds yeah. and a lot of your stuff was uh Based in like synth and horns and orchestra, oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, some hi hats here and there. Oh yeah, the thing I really liked about this album, I said this in my intro and comment on the intro aspect. The thing with my intro is, I said I wanted to try to do something, use different sounds that just you usually don't hear. Like for example, like think about it. When do you, when, when do you hear like a violin with those like tap, constant taps? Right, you know, or even thing. choir with some of the other things I added in. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, kind of new sound, you know what I mean? Yeah. So on and so forth. Like, that idea to that, I don't think that there's a lot of, there's not a lot of people are doing it. I yeah. think you might know of some, but like, yeah. I don't know anyone who does something kind of like that. You know? Yeah. And that's something I really do want to try and like originate or try and get out there, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, especially with the aspect of beats, right? Because it's like, Man, the other thing with this album, I wanted to invoke so much emotion. <laughs> yeah. And and that and maybe that's what you did, especially with like figuring out what the main chords mm. of each track was gonna be. Oh my gosh, you probably you hey man, you know one of the things that surprised me when I made this track is how many things I had from one track and how it just led into another thing. Yeah. And, uh, another sound and another sound. And it's like, when you hear like that first sound or when I heard that first sound, I'm like, okay, when I'm hearing this, I'm like, oh my gosh, it gets a whole new sound on the next segment. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it just keeps expanding further and further into something that's like over packed with sound that it's like, you're getting crushed in, but, and then at the end, it's just like, it's all relieved, and yep. it's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, and you know James Hunter. You know I talked to you about James Hunter and how he's one of my favorite composers because he's great at getting like nice loops, emotional loops, and he's great with invoking so much emotion. And that's what I really tried to do with this. Nice. <laughs> and, that's, and and now let me show you what I composed of that too. No, this no. was in fact not just an album, but this was for a video. Really? Yes. Bjorn's fight for revenge. Really? <laughs> You're going to see, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I, because I was about to ask you what Bjorn's fight was. I know. You're going to see. Yeah, I thought I was going to say. I, I, I composed everything. This wasn't just an album I made, but I composed everything to uh, to this video I made. Nice. <laughs> oh my yeah, if you want to go back, you just hit the back button. Which is at the... But actually, look, uh, here. By the way, that's a movie he and I are working on. Nice. Storyboard. Yep, storyboard. Yeah. I'm trying to go for the Zachary and Dell. Yeah, again, go back. No, it's the 
That one right here. Thank you. Four views. I'm surprised it got four views. I thought that thing would have had none. <laughs> have you noticed I've been like uploading like over an hour and some videos? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I love it. Yeah. Now, I really, I literally don't care if people watch the, these videos. I watch them yeah. and I love them. Yeah, you get to have your think pieces out there and yeah, it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get some stuff for myself, you know? Yeah. And if anything, they're also, like, good relics of, like, you going on your journey. And it's, like, if people don't get to know you, like, let's say uh, a century from now. Yeah. Like, once you're gone, you'll have family members that would either talk about you, but yep. then there's also a video proof of you. I know, it. right? Yeah, all of these videos, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. But, okay, now we're gonna, you're going to see what I composed everything to.